What we have here is a wonderful representation of VIPs, government officials, community leaders, majesties and others from all walks of life. It can also pass for an industry night for the oil and gas sector, as everyone here has come to celebrate the pioneer chairman of Saplat Energy, a leading indigenous operator in Nigeria, Dr. ABC Ojako. Yeah, it will be impossible to just come here to eat, dance, eulogize and have fun. The oil sector will still find a way to get serious. So they have tucked in an industry lecture themed the future of energy transition. And ABC Ojako is extremely passionate about this, about a cleaner future. And with our high reliance on oil and gas for receipts, Mackenzie tells us what to watch out for during this global transition. And cost leadership is now critical, especially given the, you know, what we showed you where our reserves are. We have to protect that 60%. Secondly, it is a moment to take stock of what is possible for renewables, right? And I think, you know, here in Nigeria where we, we live and, and where we work, we know that almost, you know, 100 million Nigerians are now without access. To, to electricity, right? And if you take a bigger, wider view in Africa, that's closer to 600 million. So there is a role to play um, in the energy transition for new energies, solar, uh, hyd hydrogen, and we need to think about that. Returning to the celebrations, the eulogies are well established for the surgeon turned oil expert. It's a man who has created value to a level that many can only dream of. Highlight of the evening is a book presentation in honor of the man who is bowing out after 13 years. When I look back and I see all of the things that has happened, it's, it's not by my power, it's by the grace of God and by the resilience and the commitment of the people of the things we managed to put together to dream a very high and very, very strong dream. Dr. Jack Sablat has by the books become Nigeria's first child as an indigenous energy company responsible for 30% of domestic gas to power and many more. Olu Phillips, Channel Television News.